Hello and welcome to the second video in the Mac Basics 101 tutorial series here at Apple Byte. Today we'll be talking about the desktop, uh, which is the main portion of what you see here on my screen right now. This picture takes up the desktop. This whole area right here is the desktop. Um, on the desktop you can have various folders scattered wherever you'd like them for your convenience. You can put files down there as well. So the desktop is kind of your workspace that you can um, organize your stuff. At the top of the desktop is what's called your menu bar. And this is what I'll focus mostly on in this video. The menu bar is uh, incredibly important in, in using your computer. Here at the top left, you'll see a word in bold. This one is Finder. This says the current application that you're using at the moment. So by default, you will be using Finder. And this will change if you open up another program. For example, here's Safari. I'll open up Safari and boom, you have it changed up here in the top left corner. It now shows Safari as well. And what's interesting about this is that this menu bar will change according to what program you're using. So now that I'm in Safari, I have Safari preferences. I have information about Safari. I can do different tasks inside of Safari, um, check out my history, look at bookmarks, et cetera, et cetera, in Safari, specific to Safari. I'll go back to Finder, and here in Finder you have your preferences, um, which again is different than what was in Safari. File, edit, etc. And so this menu bar adapts to what program you're currently using. Over to the very top left corner of the screen is the Apple icon. This will always be here, it never changes. Doesn't matter what program you're in, this will be a constant. This contains settings for your computer as a whole. It's not specific to any certain applications. It's how you can shut down, sleep with your computer, log out, um, look at information about your computer, etc. So that's all the top left corner. In the top right corner, we have different icons as well. Yours may look slightly different than mine, but uh, you probably won't have this icon. This is related to the screen sharing, the video recording that I'm doing right now. But right here, we have our Wi-Fi signal. Uh, it has four dark bars, meaning I have a very good connection to my internet. If you click on it, you can toggle on and off your internet, and it shows you the networks that your computer is detecting nearby. Here's your time, and this is the user account that we're using. You can toggle between different user accounts if you have different user accounts. And uh, here's a magnifying glass, it's called Spotlight. This is the most useful tool, I think, on a Mac. Uh, click on it and you can search anything, anywhere on your computer. So if you wanna look for an application, this is a quick way to pull up an application. Start typing in Safari, click enter, and boom, look at the top left, we have Safari, we're in Safari. Um, or if you're looking for a certain file, just start typing and it shows you all the folders and all the files related to that name. And so if you know the name of an application or a file you're looking for, Spotlight is the way to go. At the top right corner, far top right is the notifications panel. If you click on that, uh, you'll get a notifications layout of things that are convenient to, to look at you can customize exactly what shows up here. So I have stocks, I have weather. You can see my incredibly busy calendar shown here. Um, but if you fill out the calendar, calendar you'll see different uh, events shown here. And then you click edit and you can actually customize what shows up in your notifications panel, what things interest you, what is important to you. Um, you can add a calculator, your music, etc. You can also get more widgets from the app store and configure exactly what that looks like. Notifications is a separate part of your notifications panel where it will show you any um, recent notifications from applications or websites that you use. They'll pop up here. Um, if you get a new message, for example, it'll pop up here and let it notify you here. You can see the time that it happened and you can actually click on it and it will take you into that program that gave the notification. So that's notification panel right there. And that is a brief look at the desktop. In the next video, we'll talk about the dock, 
the portion down here at the bottom of the screen and how to use that dock more efficiently. If you like this video, go ahead and like it, uh, leave a comment on different videos you'd like to see in this tutorial series, and go ahead and subscribe for more videos related to Mac. Thanks, talk to you in the next one.